What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rolling into the Series 13 rank ladder, but this time using a Power Herb Lunala team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, definitely consider subscribing. It really goes a long way. Definitely want to give a huge shout out to all of my subscribers. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Brad. Brad, thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. If you guys want to send me rental codes, please do so on my Twitter page. Link is down in the description below. Gene's YouTube over on Twitter. Either tweet at me or DM me your guys' rental codes because I love playing uh, fan teams. Definitely uh, my favorite way to play this game. Definitely is. But with that out the way, let's get let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Lunala over here. It is a Psychic and Ghost type, and it is a very, very bulky Pokemon. It's got Shadow Shield as its ability, alongside with the Power Herb as its item. It's got Moongeist Beam, Hypnosis to put Pokemon to sleep, Meteor Beam, and Wide Guard to stop or protect us from double-hitting moves. Second Pokemon is going to be our lovely speed control Pokemon. It is going to be Whimsicott over here. It's got Prankster, it's got the Focus Sash as item, and then it's rocking Tailwind, Encore, Protect, and Moonblast. Middle left is going to be my favorite Yvelta build of all time. It is going to be the Dark Aurora, alongside with the Assault Vest build. It's got Oblivion Link, Snarl, Foul Play, and Sucker Punch. It's got a first turn priority move, a move to do big damage up against physical attackers, a move to drop special attackers, and then a stab HP recovery move. Like I said, I love this setup on him. You can Dynamax him. But chances are, I really don't do it too often, but I, I only do it if I have to. But I really do like him without Dynamaxim. Fourth Pokemon is going to be the best Pokemon in the game. It is going to be Zacian over here. You guys know this Pokemon's broken, but he, he he's just too strong not to use. You guys know that. You guys know that. He has Interpret Sword alongside the Rusted Sword as his item and ability. Then he's got Sacred Sword, Protect, Iron Head, and Play Rough Sword. Probably the most used moveset on any Zacian. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Calyrex over here. Ice Rider Calyrex, I should say, with the As One ability and the White Herb as its item. It's got Trick Room, Glacial Lance, Protect, and High Horse Power. So if we want to pop a Trick Room, he's our guy to go into. We can pop the Trick Room alongside with the Moongus and then just uh, kind of roll off from there. Final Pokemon is going to be that Amoongus, and Amoongus is just one of the best Trick Room Pokemon because it is so slow and then it can spore and put Pokemon to sleep in one turn. It's got Regenerator alongside Black Sludge, Giga Drain, Rage Powder, Spore, and Pollen Puff. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Power Herb Lunala Series 13 team. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against an absolute banger of a team. This guy is rocking a Melmetal team with Tapu Bulu, Reggie Draco, Incineroar, Amoongus, and Mimikyu. So if I had to guess, Mimikyu is its only Trick Room Pokemon, right? Isn't that the only Pokemon he has that can set Trick Room? I believe it is. So he's probably going to go into... Amoongus here. I might just go Zassi in turn one, or I can even go Lunala and just Meteor Beam and kind of roll off. That is a solid start, especially if he wants to lead in Sinnoh. So I'm going to go Lunala. I might even go Calyrex. I could go Calyrex, or I can just go in with like Yveltal. Yveltal's not bad. Or I can just go heavy on the attacking field and go Zassian. But again, I really do think he is going to lead the instant war so i really don't want to be intimidated i'm going to throw out two special attackers so two special attackers coming out there we're gonna bring calyx in the back end when he pops a trick room and then uh we're gonna bring zassi in here as well or i could bring amoongus or i could bring amoongus amoongus could be solid amoongus could be really solid here which i'm kind of leaning towards especially if he wants to pop trick room amoongus might be slower than Mel metal is it let's see actually it might not be Mel metal's slow man Mel metal is slow and the problem with Mel metal is it's slower than calyx so with that thing being slower than Calyrex, it could be a problem. But I'm going to go Amoongus here. I am going to go Amoongus. Because if it is slower than Calyrex, it can legit take him out in one shot. No problem. thing is super, super strong. Really, really strong Pokemon. So we'll see who he wants to lead. We shall see who he wants to lead. So I think it's going to be Mimikyu and Incineroar, if I had to guess. But if it's not, I think we're totally fine with this lead. So we have a rather fast team, too. Mimikyu and Incineroar. Called that from a mile away. So he's going to fake out, or he's going to at least try to fake out my Yveltal, right? I'm just going to Meteor Beam that, and I could, uh, I could Dynamax. Do I Dynamax? I don't think I Dynamax, though. I really don't think I Dynamax, but definitely a Meteor Beam pop. Definitely a Meteor Beam pop all day. And I guess we'll just let him fake out, or I can hard swap into my Calyrex at this point. I could definitely hard swap into Calyrex. Do I hard swap into Calyrex, or do I just take this fake out here? Again, if he's popping Trick Room, we might as well get a Calyrex out here. Or I can even get out of Moongus. I could get out of Moongus. Moongus isn't too shabby here. 
Amoogus. Do you want to come out here? Hmm. Let's have me just roll Amoogus. I'm going to roll Amoogus. We're going to swap the Yveltal. He's going to pop the trick room with the Mimikyu. He's going to try to fake out my Yveltal slight, right? It's, pretty, it's a pretty easy, easy kind of read here, right? He withdraws Mimikyu. Who are you going to go into here? Oh, we get a double Amoogus swap. I'm about it. I'm about to double Amoogus swap. Meteor Beam's going to fire. I'm all about the double Amoogus swap. Wow. Okay. Double Amoogus swap comes out here. I could Dynamax with Nala at this point because it is plus one on that special attack now. And I wonder if this Meteor Beam can KO. I wonder if it does. It can do a nice chunk of damage. It is a beautiful move. Let's see if it KOs this Incineroar. It does. Beautiful start. Beautiful start to the battle. So we get rid of Incineroar. He does not go for the fake out. And now we have Amoogus at full health. So I wonder who he's going to go into here. Maybe he thought I was doubling down. I don't know. I do not know. Maybe he thought I was Dynamaxing and trying to get rid of Mimikyu. That's probably what he thought I was doing. So Melt Metal is going to fly here. I could Rage Powder this. Or I'm thinking of just Moon Guys Beaming this and then just going into a, a Spore, right? Seems like our best bet because I think a Moon Guys might be faster than Melt Metal. Like I said, Melt Metal is so slow. It is so slow. But I don't know. Can it pop a Trick Room? I know Moon Guys can't. No metal might, but he's gonna end up Dynamax, so he's not popping Trick Room. And I am just hoping that, uh, I really am hoping that a Rage Powder doesn't come out from him. And Amoongus is faster than Mel Metal. I guess we'll find out. I guess we will find out, but I'm kind of saving my Dynamax now. I have Calyrex in the back end. Calyrex can really thrive out here. But we'll see how this one plays out here. He's gonna end up going for no Rage Powder, so I'm with that all day. And I'm hoping my Amoongus outspeeds. Lunala is going to drop a Moon Guys Beam. Getting after it. And do some nice damage to the moves. Look at that. More than half. That's beautiful. Well, now he has a berry. God dang it, man. I was hoping another one could KO. I have to double down to the Moogus next turn. Really depends. Spore's going to come out here, and we are faster. That's a beautiful turn. It's a lovely turn. He's probably going for a Spore here as well, right? We double Sporing. Are we doing the double Spore? Or what are you doing? What are you doing here? He's going to Spore me. So we go for the double Spore. Um, I could hard swap here. I doubt he's going to wake up, right? Wait, I doubt he's gonna wake up. Let's go for another medium. Beam. And sh 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 do I just rage power shot? I mean, I'd rather just start chipping onto this Moongus lot. I do think he's asleep. I think we play this one slow. He has Dynamax turns. I'm not gonna swap. He's gonna withdraw, and this is a fine turn from us. He's gonna go back into Mimikyu, and we get rid of its uh, disguise. So I do like that turn. I don't mind it. Lunala's gonna be asleep. Moongus gonna go next. Moongus gonna say, hey yo, here's a Palm Puff. You meet at this guy. So we get rid of this guy. So if I can wake up next turn, I can finish off this Mimikyu and allow Trick Room not to set up, which could be really, really big for us. But we need Smell Metal to be asleep. Of course it wakes up. Of course it wakes up, but it's going to drop a Hailstorm. Can you eat this up, Amoongus? Maybe, probably not, right? You do eat it up, but Buffets, I think Buffets will do enough damage here. Which kind of suck. But the good thing about this is I can Dynamax... Uh, I could Dynamax Calyrex here, or I can just stay in here and use an Ice move. Amoongus, eat that up. Nope. Okay, so Amoongus drops out here. He is going to be looking for the trick. He really is. Um, I'm kind of hoping that Lunala wakes up here, but I could go into Yvelta, or I could just go into Calyrex here. Hmm. What do I do? Because, again, he's probably looking to pop a trick. He could Max Guard here. I really don't feel like Dynamaxing. Do I Dynamax, though? I mean, Steel Spike can do me dirty. Steel Spike can do me dirty. I think uh, a Glacial Lance can take out the Mimikyu. And if a Mimikyu is going for Trick Room, it will move last. I could just go for Moon Guys Beam. Hmm. You know, I'm going to double down into Mimikyu here. Because if if Glacial Lance doesn't KO, then Moon Guys Beam can. But if it does, then Moon, Geese, Moon Guys Beam just slides over. So we're just going to try to prevent Trick Room. And of course... Lunala is slump. He is going for a Trick Room here, so can this actually KO the Mimikyu? We do not, so Trick Room is going to be out and about, and he is going to go for the Steel Spike and finish me off. Okay, so he finishes me off. That is all of his Dynamax turns. Calyrex eats. That's actually huge that Calyrex eats here, because I, I, I'm going to have to Dynamax my Lunala here, right? I think Lunala's are Dynamax play. Full HP, right? And he's going to pop the Trick Room. So Trick Room comes out and about. Uh, Mimikyu's probably just going to Shadow Sneak me. And Mel Metal's just gonna start getting it after it. So we still have Dynax, he does not. Um Hmm. 
I could protect the Calyrex. I could definitely protect the Calyrex and just start getting after Mill Metal. But yeah, I got a Dynamax here and drop a Phantasm. Let's get after this Mill Metal. I'll definitely Dynamax him. And what do I do? Do I protect this guy? Do I protect him? Or do I just go for the Glacial Lance? So obviously I could protect him, but I think a Shadow Sneak comes in here. Hmm. I think we just protect this turn. Let's just protect it. I mean, Mimikyu is obviously going to go after him. Mel Metal's probably going after my uh, Lunala. We'll Dynamax Lunala at this point. This plus one special attack, and I'm hoping that this uh, Phantasm can actually pick up the KO here. But we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I think protecting our uh, Calyx is the right play. Just kind of slowing down the battle, wasting out some of these tricking turns, and just letting my Dynamax Pokemon go to work. So not a bad battle so far. Not a bad battle. He has a Mimikyu in the back end, which I'm not too worried about. I mean, it could put me to sleep rather easily, but still. I think we're fine. No Metal's going to go after Calyrex. That's a great protect from us. Oh, did he double down to Cali? Oh, no, we dodged it. And Lunala finally wakes up. Beautiful. And we get after us. So, there's a Phantasm. We do not pick up the KO, but yo, I'll take that turn all day long. I'll take that turn all day. So, defense is going to drop. They are going to take Buffets. Um, what do I do here? The so next Buffet takes out uh, both of them. I think I just guard, right? I definitely guard Lunala. I definitely guard Lunala. Lunala's not allowed to take damage here. So we'll let Buffets take him out. And I'll go for double protect. I don't mind it all day. I might as well go for it. Because they outspeed me. They're going to KO me. So if I can land double protect, I just save my Calyrex. Protect comes out here. And we land it. Beautiful. Beautiful, yo. The max guard and the double protect is going to land. That's a solid turn from us. Buffets are going to fly. They're going to finish off the Mimikyu. They're going to finish off the Mel Metal. And it is just GG's. We have a Calyrex and a Lunala versus a, uh, well, I should say a Dynamax Lunala versus an Amoongus. And battle number one, mwah, it goes perfectly. Jeans is just outplaying his opponents again. And yo, Mel Metal's death animation is hilarious. It is hilarious. It kind of just like melts. <laughs> it just melted into the ground. He's like, yeah, I'm dead. It kind of just like dissolved. I love it. But solid play from us. Good, good, good thinking by me to max guard and might as well go for the double protect, right? Because if it doesn't land, they outspeed us anyway, so it didn't really matter. So we might as well take the risk and go for it. But Amoogus comes out for the final Pokemon. We're going to Phantasm into that slot. We're going to Glacial Lance on top of that. And I believe our opponent just cancels battle, right? Cancel the battle for me. Save me some time. Save me some some time. Pick up the pace. He does not cancel battle. He's going to go straight for Palompa. He's going to take me out. How dare you? How dare you take me out? Come on now. Come on now. You really want your poor little mushroom Amoongus, your Pokeball mushroom, to get hit by this? Big mistake. Big mistake. Look at that damage. Bringing him all the way down the red. I'm surprised he stayed in the battle this long. And now I can legit just bring out, uh... I can bring out, uh... What is that Pokemon called? Yveltal. Didn't I lead Yveltal? I think I did. I hard swapped him right off the rip. Yep, into Amoongus. Which is a smart play by us. But I was super surprised he hard swapped that, uh... That, what's it called? That Mimikyu turn one. But it makes sense. He probably thought I was doubling down. He probably thought that Jeans was doubling down, but not a bad first battle. Kind of long and drawn out, but we take those wins all day. Those battles are definitely better than most. I'm just going to Moon Guys Beam. I'm going to Oblivion Wing. Match is wrap. It's a wrap. Just cancel battle. Do not think of please. Just don't think of please. He's going to put me to sleep here, isn't he? Have an odd feeling. Nope. He finally canceled battle. There it is. 1 0 to get us started. Second match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a powerhouse team. Look how strong this team looks. Zacian, Shadow Rider, Galax, Kyogre, and Groudon. Not just one Weather Warrior, two of the Weather Warriors. And then he's got himself level Yabelta and Whimsicott for its only non-legendary Pokemon. But, okay, let's get this one rolling. I could go in with Trick Room, or I could go in with Whimsicott, maybe like Cordon or something. Probably wouldn't do it. I could go Whimsicott and just kind of try to grant some speed control. You go Whimsy and Zassian. It's not too bad. He could go into... Uh, I could go Whimsy uh, Lunala. Because if he goes Shadow Rider Kylox, we do have the Shadow Shield. And I think we should be able to eat up a shot, right? Shadow Shield reduces the amount. Takes while the Pokemon's at full HP. Yeah, we should be able to eat up one dash. So I might just go here and there. And then roll into Zassian and Yveltal, right? This one's going to be tough. I could actually go the Yveltal as a lead. Hmm. Tough games. Tough games. Okay, Yveltal. Or do I go Calyrex and try to pull off the Trick Room? I just don't see us getting the Trick Room, right? He has too many double-hitting Pokemon. He has too many Pokemon that have super effective shots. I do not see us pulling off that Trick Room. I really don't. 
Because even if we went Amoongus and and uh, a Shadow Calyx, Shadow Pop Chicken, he's probably eating a double hitting Pokemon like Shadow Knight Calyrex or like Kyogre or like Groudon that can just rip into my Calyrex, no problem. So it's really not worth it. It's really not worth it. But yo, I totally forgot to ask you guys question of the day in battle number one. That is, what is your favorite thing about Pokemon and Scarlet and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet so far? So out of all the things that they announced and out of all the things that we've seen, what is your favorite thing that you've seen so far? So he's going to end up going into Yveltal and Whimsicott. And I'm kind of cool with this. I'm just going to Tailwind and I think I just drop a Meteor Beam. Get that plus one and then kind of roll from there. Because I wonder what Yveltal's doing. Yveltal might be Orbed. It could be Orbed, but it could be Vested as well. There's a lot of different Pokemon that could be Orbed. Actually, I think he is going to be Orbed, to be honest with you guys. I think he's going to Dynamax. I don't know that Shadow Shield. He's going to Dynamax. It's kind of looking scary. That's looking a little scary. Let's see if Blue Nile can eat up with the Shadow Shield. Half in the damage, and this thing is rather bulky, so I'm hoping it can just soak up the shot. Get off this Moogai's Beam and kind of go from there. Right? I'm just hoping. Because like, if we get off a Moogai's Beam, I feel like that's a solid, solid, solid turn for us. Let's see what Whimsy goes for. We're going to go for Tailwind. Hopefully his Whimsicott's going for a Taunt and just outspeed it. That could be good. Nope. We go Tailwind for Tailwind. Global Tailwind coming out here. Maybe he goes for an Airstream just to grant a bit more speed. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for Darkness. Can he soak this up? Soak it up, Lunala. Nope. Shadow Shield did us dirty. God dang Shadow Shield. So he takes out our Lunala. That's that's rather upsetting. And I feel like we could just Encore this thing. Right? And I could go into Zacian. Right? Zacian's the man. Zacian's the man. I could double down Eveltal. I could definitely double down Eveltal. I feel like I'm might do that or do I because we both outspeed that you know right now we both outspeed we both outspeed and I feel like we have to get off as much damage so I feel like a moon blast and I think blade does just as much damage right or maybe even a little more because this is double and it's stab but this is double and it's stab so but uh this does a bit more damage just 10 more base power and I think that maybe I should encore because we might see a guard we might see a guard into whatever Wimscott wants to do, so Encore could be the play. But if he doesn't guard, this double down is definitely the play. So we'll see. Maybe he's thinking like, oh, maybe we get up a Zacian shot. It's actually just going to start burying this thing. <laughs> Zacian's just OP, man. He really is. But this thing is not life orb like I thought it was. He's probably vested, but Zacian is a physical attacker. So he's really thinking he does guard. Ah! What's he going for? He's going to Encore me. I was going to do that to him. I was going to do that to him. So he guards that. And we go for Tailwind. So I could swap one, Scott. We are stuck in an Encore. I was going to do that to him, man. Good hard swap here. Might have to be my player, right? Best you belt all with the swap. Do we still bleed? Yeah, we still bleed. Heck yeah, we still bleed. And Yveltal is going to have to be our Dynamax Pokemon. So if I could Dynamax start getting off some Airstreams, I would really, really like that. I would adore it. So let's see what he does here. God dang, Encore. I should have done it to him, yo. I knew it. I knew it. I was sitting there. I was just like, yo, he might guard. Knowing that this is out on field. But I wonder who he's going to swap to. I feel like he's going to swap. And I feel like Kai Ogre might be his only option, right? But he drops Whimsicott. So he drops... Oh, no, that's me dropping Whimsicott. That's my Whimsicott sw swapping into my Yveltal. And mine's shiny, so mine's way cooler. We'll see what he's doing from here. You know, he's going to swap his Whimsicott as well. Who's he rolling into? Groudon comes in here. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. So Behemoth Blade's going to fly here. So much damage. Should do more than half, right? I'm hoping Zacian can eat up, eat up whatever shot this thing has to offer, right? Oh my god, dude. Some big time damage. He's gonna go for the airstream. He's gonna take a little bit of speed here. And he's gonna do some damage to Zacian. So he's gonna take speed. No smart play by him, but I feel like I just protect and kinda uh get after ground, alright? Where do I take out your belt all? They definitely got Dynamax this thing. Do I take out Yveltal or do more, or do some damage over this? 
Obviously, I could go for darkness. I think physical or... Sp let, let me see this thing's EVs. Let me see your EV sponsor. Okay, so it's mainly it's it's better on special attack side. So Airstream's gonna do good chunk. I feel like we have to take speed back. So I'm just gonna do this: take speed back, protect, and then have Zassy and take out uh, Groudon, or even Yabeltal if we want to. So I'm cool with this turn. I really am. I do like it. Hopefully he's doubling down. He's definitely going for blades, right? Yes. I feel like he has to go for blades, but this is a solid battle so far. Solid battle. It can really go either way because his Dynamax turns over. We know he has Wimscott in the back end. I have Wimscott of my own in the back end. I can bring out for a bit of a bit more speed. But let's see how this one plays. I am terrifying. He protects you, Balthol. I like that turn. Per don't protect Groudon. Do not protect Groudon. Do not protect Groudon. Cool. He does not protect Groudon. The Groudon does not get to protect. I'm a huge fan of that. And Blade's gonna come out here. We block it and we dodge it. And now we airstream and we take our speed back. And now we can roll out. So how much damage is the airstream doing? I don't know if we can do more than half. It does not. I think this thing is vested. And I think a blade can take out the ground on. So I'm gonna blade into that. I am going to airstream over to you. I'll just to get some more speed on the field. Kinda go from there. So we're gonna airstream over on you. And then I am just going to behemoth blade right into the ground on slot. So hopefully this can take him out. Hopefully this can take him out, because if this takes out, if we pick up the double kill, we are sitting in such a hot spot. But he's going to be forced to bring out Wimscott, he's going to Tailwind, and then with this plus two speed for us, that's going to be huge because that kind of just cancels out. My Pokemon will still, or my Zassian will still be fast on the field, unless he's rocking with, unless he's rocking with Shadow Rider. But if he has Shadow Rider, oh, he's going to hard swap. He's going into here. He doesn't know Wimscott, so he's going to force the Sash out here. Kind of fine with that, so he forces the Sash. Blade's gonna fly here. I'm kind of cool with that because again, we still have speed. And it'll tailwind. It'll tailwind next turn, and I might as well go for another airstream after this, right? I might as well go for another airstream after this, right? Just to, just to grant some more speed. He's gonna Blizzard Wing. It's not gonna do much. We're vested. And we're gonna be able to take this thing out. So yeah, I might as well go for another airstream after this, just so I can get be faster than them in a the tailwind. So that's a solid turn. Solid turn. One more turn left. He could go in the ground on here, but again, I don't think it matters if he goes in the ground, right? I don't think it matters. I really don't think it matters if he goes in the ground on. I think he's going to show his final Pokemon. This is a great battle. Yo. We're having some good battles on the recording today. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying. He throws out Zacian. And at this point, uh, bum, I am scared of that thing. I could guard and just have my Zacian outspeed. I actually want to see my Zacian speed because he's obviously going to Tailwind here. 1,000% the thing Tailwinds, right? Uh, Pike for me could be to save my Zacian, swap into this Focus Ash and Tailwind next turn. That could be my play. What's your speed? Are you maxed? You're not maxed, so that is scaring me a little bit. Scaring me a little bit. This thing is scaring me a little bit. Good lower special defense here. Actually, I could just airstream and protect here. That's gonna be my play. I need to keep this speed rolling for the Zassian. I need Zassian at full speed. We're gonna hope that this Zassian goes into my Zassian. Or if he protects or something, let's see. He goes for a tailwind. Go into the Behemoth Blade here. Because again, this plus three could be huge for us. Just not going to my Zassian. It's a bad protect from us. I should have kind of saw that coming. Can we soak? Okay, you can soak. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Could have been worse. So we airstream again, we get rid of Whimsy. We have Tailwind of our own ready to roll. And I think maybe a plus three of Elta can outspeed that Zassian. That could be huge. That could be huge. But his Zassian could protect here. He's gonna roll in the ground on. Um I do want Oblivion Wing to get some HP. Hmm. Tough news. Tough news because I don't know who he's gonna protect here. He has two options to protect. I could go after Groudon and read the protect from the Zassian. Cause I'm kind of feeling like a foul play is probably the play actually over in this thing just to chunk up some damage and a behemoth blade over in the ground is probably the play. Cause Zacian has a high chance of protecting here knowing that we're faster now. 
Oh my god, this battle's coming down to a wire, yo. Please protect Zacian. I mean, if he doesn't, I guess that's fine. But I think both my Pokemon might actually outspeed it. So if he doesn't protect, I think Blade takes out Groudon. And then Foul Play can chuck up some damage on the Zacian. And then our Zacian can outspeed. Unless he takes out our Zacian, but then we have Foul Play ready to go. But he does protect. He does protect, and Jeans makes a nice little read. A nice, lovely read. Wade's gonna come in hot. Yes, sir. Right over to the Groudon. And again, hopefully this takes him out, right? Can you take out the Groudon? You do. Beautiful. 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 Groudon, get on out of here. And that's gonna be GG's. And your boy just won the game. Your boy just won the game. What a third and final battle. Well, not third and final battle. What a second battle. That's a winning record for you guys. That's a winning record. But we definitely made a little mistake by protecting that Zacian last turn. We should have just went into an attack. It was definitely our play, but I tried making a hard read. It's all good, though. We're going to foul play. We're going to Behemoth Blade across the board. And that is game over. Right? Cancel battle. Or is he going to stay in here? No, he's going to stay in. He wants his Zacian to die. He wants his Zacian to die. Still have one Scott in the back end with a Focus Hash as well. It's not too shabby. Behemoth Blade brings this thing down the red. The Belt all actually outspeeds and just to rub it in his face, yo. Play rough misses, yo. Don't worry. Don't worry, guy. I know your pain. I know your pain, yo. I miss foul plays. Well, not foul plays. I miss play roughs all the time. It is probably the worst move. I don't know why it's 90 accuracy. It's more like 50 accuracy. Final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a perfect breaker. He's got the Zacian, the Shadow Rider Calyrex, the Alga, Meowstic, and then he's got Yveltal and Incineroar. So he could go trick him with the Alga. He definitely could, or he can just kind of just like outspeed me. Actually, he can outspeed me if I go into a Tailwind. He has no way of getting speed without a Dynamax Pokemon such as Yveltal. So I'm going to lead Whimscott, and I might lead Yveltal on top of that. Or should I lead a Pokemon like Zacian? Zacian could definitely be good for us. He kind of roll out strong. So I'm going to go Zacian. I'm going to go Yveltal, or I can go Lunal. Well, is not bad because the only thing is, if he goes in Cinemore, he kind of dodge that. So I'm kind of like a Lunala lead. Yveltal's Assy in the back end. Looking pretty good for us. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. So looking for the perfect record. Looking for the perfect record. The last two battles were actually really, really solid. I feel like we played great all around. And uh, we played it slow. We kind of slowed down the pace. And waited for our chance to kind of take the upper hand. Then we roll out it from there. But that is kind of how I like to play. It's just let them make moves first. Let them do their thing. We play slow. We kind of play defensive. And then when we get our chance, we kind of wiggle away in there and, and, and get the upper hand. But he's going to go Meowstic alongside with Shadow Rider. I mean, we can eat up an Astro Barrage, which is really, really good. We can eat up an Astro Barrage. Uh, I mean, I have protected my Wimscott, right? I do have protected my Wimscott. So what I could do here is take off focus at i mean who is has focus at? probably the calyx right i think i'm just protecting and i know i can eat up actually i could wide guard but i'll probably wide guard next turn but i am just going to protect i am going to eat up this astro barrage with my shadow shield and i think he fakes me out right no he's just a trick how dare you luckily i'm not going for a meteor beam what are you giving me though what item are you giving me iron ball beautiful astro barrage comes through here we block and we go for this. So he did not go for the fake out. Wow, we could have kind of just went from there. Lunal can eat us up, right? He cannot. Was that a crit? That was not a crit. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure the creator told me that this build could eat up a Astro Barrage. From... That kind of hurts soul. That kind of hurts soul. But we go into the Yveltal here. Um... I could snarl. I could tailwind. Uh, what do I do here? I mean, we have Zassian back end. I mean, Yveltal is our Dynamax Pokemon. We could hard swap. So I kind of want to go into like a tailwind here. And then... Or I could trick this thing into going into another trick. Because what item does it have? It has my power. I actually like the items that we have. So I'm just going to tailwind here. And I could go into the foul play. I could Dynamax. Uh, what Pokemon do you have in the back end? Dialga, Zassian. I think Zassian is going to get the swap. But I think I'm just going to Dynax, and I could still Darkness maybe over to him, yeah. And we're just going to Darkness right over to the Meowstic. That hurts, man. That hurts. So I'm pretty sure the creator, maybe I read it wrong, told me that we, I can eat up an Astro Barrage with the Shadow Shield Lunala, and it did not happen. So I'm a little upset. Just a little upset, but it happens. It totally happens. So I was banking on that, but we're going to try to dig ourselves out of that hole now. We're going to try to dig ourselves out of that hole. It might have been a Dynamax Lunala. I don't know. I might have read it wrong. Like I said, Tailwind's going to come out here. We Dynamax our level Yvelta on. I'm surprised he's staying in here with that, uh, with this thing. He's going to end up tricking me. He's going to take my Focus Ash. That's such a smart play. 
That's such a smart play. He's going to take my Power Herb and he's going to take my Focus Sash. And we're going to Darkness and look for the KO here, right? No KO? I think he's got a... Oh, he, he took my Focus Sash. How dare you? I was going to say, I think he's got a free Focus Sash. No. He took my Focus Sash. How dare you? So he takes my Focus Sash. Um, I mean, if he takes out... He takes out my What's Called right now, that's fine. My Worm's got... Yeah, my Worm's got... Doesn't fare too well to that. So now this thing's plus two. And I don't want it to protect. That's my problem because I really want to double down into it. I really want to double down into this Pokemon. I really want to get rid of it because we know it has a sash. And the only way of winning is to double down into it. Our only way of winning is to get rid of it, getting rid of it right now. So yeah, I should double down into this Pokemon. I'll take some speed on top of that. So I'm just going to go Blade. And then just, uh, just Airstream. Airstream into it. Again, hopefully he doesn't protect it. And of course, he's need protecting. Oh, he's going to fake tears me. That's fine. So he fake tears me. We're fine with that. We have speed. We should be able to just get rid of that uh, Shadow Rider Calyx right here. I'm cool with that. I mean, hopefully it's not even sashed. We just dump on it, right? That could be a beautiful play. So this comes out here. Bang. It's not sashed. Wow. It is not sashed. That's huge. That is huge. So I wonder who has the sash. Does he have a Wimscott on this team? Maybe. No, he doesn't. Who would have the sash? But yo, that's huge. That is huge. We are minus on special defense, but speed is on our side. We have these two Pokemon left. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. Lunal just got dumped on. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. I was just like, yeah, this thing will eat it up. HP bar just slowly goes down. I'm like, oh god, come on now. Come on now. Drop that Pokemon. But yeah, we're making a fight. We're making a fight. We already guaranteed ourselves a winning record for today's video, so that is huge. Okay, so he sends out Zaxian. Uh, do we double down on his ass? I don't know. It really depends who he throws out here. And he goes Diaga. So this is his Dynamax Pokemon all day long. And I don't know if I double down on Zaxian. Zaxian it has a high likelihood of protecting. But what do I do here? Hit Sacred Sword. I could double down into this thing. I could double down into this. Kind of lean towards. You know what? I'm going to do it. Maybe he's asking my protect. See what he does. So yeah, Dynamax obviously comes out from him. I wonder what does more damage. Will Behemoth Blade do more damage? I don't think it does. It's double, then it's half, right? Because it's not very effective. I'm trying to think through the mass up against a super effective shot. That's non stab No, what's called this more damage? Sacred Sword does more damage. We're hoping this thing is in policy. We're hoping Zassian protects here. Does not. Does not go for it to protect. Sacred Sword comes out here. That's some big time damage. Some big time damage. It's not weakness policy, so I'm guessing it's orbed at that point. And this comes out here and does some damage. I am low on battery. You guys know if you guys been watching the channel for a while, no, I always keep it plugged in. Always keep the plug plugged in just for this reason. And we're gonna do that. He's gonna be him with And can we survive on red? Let's see. How much HP do we have? I think we, we might be able to survive on red. We do beautiful. So we survive on red. Quaken, he's gonna quake. I think we can eat this up. If we can eat this up, we have a a fair shot at win this battle. We don't need that out. We just die instantly. We just get shredded. Was that a crit? I have a feeling it was a crit. It was not. Just big time damage from Dialga. Just big time damage. And that is going to be GG's, right? There's no way we can win this one. There's no way we can win this one, right? Because we cannot take out Zassian in one shot. Yeah, that's GG's. That is GG. So we're going to go 2-1 for today's video. I'm definitely going to run this battle. He's got it on lock. But yo, solid set of battles and solid battles for today's video nice little winning record for today's video you gotta love it the lunala the yvelta the calyrex and zassian all shine in today's video actually we didn't really get to use calyrex but still definitely a fun team all around and a little bit different from using the kai ogre and shadow rider calyrex like it usually is on every other team but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positive today i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody